Let's move on to some updates from Mumbai. A freak dust storm caused a billboard to collapse in the Ghatkopar area of Mumbai, resulting in the death of 14 people. Santhya is joining us on the phone line with further details and updates on this case. Santhya? Uh, good morning. See, so far, 14 people have been reported dead. 43 are injured. The rescue operations by NDRF team is underway. There are two teams of NDRF on the spot. The incident took place in Mumbai's Ghatkopar area yesterday. Ghatkopar comes under the central suburbs of Mumbai, as you mentioned, that it was caused by a thunderstorm. Now, Mumbai police has also filed an FIR in the matter. The FIR has been filed against the director of Ego Media. The holding actually belongs belong to Ego Media. The director is Bhavesh Bhinde, Bhavesh Bhinde and others. Those are the people are yet to be named in the FIR. Bhavesh Bhinde and others are booked under IPC 304. That's punishment for culpable homicide not amounting to murder. And IPC 338 and 337, that is punishment for causing grievous hurt to a person by an act endangering human life and their safety. Along with this, common intention section has also been added in the FIR. Uh, now, whether or not any arrests has uh, any arrests have been made, that update is yet to come from Mumbai police. But talking about the illegal hoarding aspect, see, this is not the first time that illegal hoarding uh, has become a topic of conversation in Mumbai. In fact, it was in 2011 for the first time that an organization filed a petition in Bombay High Court highlighting that what a menace the illegal hoardings have become and how they can pose a threat to safety and security of people. Bombay High Court took note of that and it was in 2017 that Bombay High Court issued directives and ensured that uh, and asked state government to ensure that no illegal hoardings, uh, you know, are there in the city. Uh, in fact, next year itself, Bombay High Court itself initiated a contempt plea. Bombay High Court observed that the orders issued by Bombay High Court were not followed, hence the contempt plea. Uh, in fact, recently Bombay High Court pulled up Maharashtra state government. Bombay High Court observed that the state government has failed to ensure that this menace of illegal hoarding is taken care of. And now we can see the result. Unfortunately, 14 people have lost their lives to the tragedy. There are people who are hospitalized. There are 43 people who are hospitalized. One of them is said to be critical. Now talking about the IMD warnings. So yesterday, IMD's warnings were delayed. CNBC TV 18 highlighted that IMD did mention a possibility of thunderstorm, but it did not mention anywhere how strong the thunderstorm could be. In fact, their now cast warning, a warning which is supposed to come two hours before the incident takes place, that also was delayed by at least a couple of hours because the now cast warning for 4 p.m. yesterday was issued at 4.30 p.m. So we can see the delay there also. And when asked, IMD officials said that it was because of a network problem, it was because of a technical error, the, uh, uh, the, the warning was delayed. IMD claims that they updated the uh, warning on time, but because of a poor network, it took, them, uh, it took some time for the warning to display on their website. Talking about what IMD's forecast is for today, see, for now, for Mumbai, IMD has not given any warning for any kind of thunderstorm. IMD has said that there's no possibility of a thunderstorm. Uh, IMD hasn't said that there is any possibility of a thunderstorm for Mumbai. But for nearby areas, that Pal that's Palghar and Thane, IMD has mentioned that there, there's a possibility of thunderstorm. Once again, the agency hasn't mentioned how strong or severe the thunderstorm could be. Only for Raigad and Mumbai's twin city, Navi Mumbai, falls under Raigad. Only for Raigad, uh, IMD has said that there's a possibility of thunderstorm and the wind speed uh, could go up to 30 to 40 kilometer per hour. Uh, as I said, NDRF teams are on the spot. Search and rescue operations are underway. 14 people, unfortunately, reported dead so far. Okay, all right, Sandhya, thank you so much for joining us with that update. It definitely is an unfortunate event. Uh, we'll keep coming back to you for more updates on this one.